Welcome friends to this video we are going to be learning how to draw the pelvis so let's get started a drawing in from the anterior or the front view. Now I have some guidelines here for a rectangle and this is pretty close to a real life size on a sheet of paper and the height is about 70% more than the width. So if you're curious on the dimensions I'll write them down here. The If you're female you're about 179 and and if you're a male, about 193 in millimeters, which translates between seven and seven and a half inches. And for the width, if you're a female, about 133, and male, about 137 millimeters, which is about 5.2 to 5.4 inches. So there's no real easy way to draw the pelvis because it has such dynamic movement in the hips your hip joint has to move in 360 degrees. So you have to have muscles attached in all directions. So I'm gonna to try to break this down into shapes. And there are seven bones or four unique bones in the pelvis. So let's start by just drawing uh, each of them into shapes, mostly circles here. And I'll start with the biggest one and that's the ilium. And so we're gonna come down to uh, about two thirds here, and then we're gonna cross over to uh, just over halfway for our first circle, and then we're gonna do the same thing just over halfway and about down here. So we're gonna draw a circle about that size. We're gonna touch up on the top there, and then same thing here. Okay, then the next one is the sacrum, and that's where the spine attaches. And we're gonna do this in a couple shapes. We're gonna start with uh, right about uh, between the two circles here, where these are gonna curve down. And so that'll be the top of the sacrum. The sacrum's gonna come down to about the same height as these circles. So let's draw a circle right in there. And then I'm also gonna draw a triangle too, so you can kind of get a shape of the tailbone. So I'll start at the same location, and then about halfway here, we'll draw our triangle. And you'll see how all these come together in a moment. And then for the last two bones, the ischium and the pubis, we're gonna draw a couple more circles, kind of in this free space here, touching here, here, and over here. So that'll kind of give you an idea of the size there, and we'll do the same thing over here. All right, so now we kind of have our outline structure. So let's go ahead and start marking a minute. So back to the ilium, we're gonna start at the top. It's gonna to curve down, touch the side, and then it's gonna, it's actually gonna curve in and back out a little bit. Kind of have that curvature before it comes back in. And here's the, the joint for your hip. So, and then it comes down here. And then also there's the, the spine. So you can think of that as a rectangle. So we'll go ahead and sketch in a rectangle and then we can kind of sketch in the spine shape here the lumbar attaches right in there, into the sacrum there. Okay, and then back up to this one, we'll curve it, come down right along here, curve in. Whoop, can't quite see that. Curve in and then back out. Here's the hip joints. All right, so those, there's the ilium, two portions there. So now let's go on and to the sacrum and I'm gonna divide this one, this circle into a few different parts where the vertebra attaches. So I'll make a few lines there and those also provide as guidelines. And then we're going to draw the sides. So starting here at where the lumbar attaches, we can come down to where this middle line is or where the circle and the, uh, the circle and the triangle attached. So this is gonna be a half circle, right in there. And then same thing right about here. And then 
the bottom of the sacrum is going to be right where this circle is. And then these are going to be attached with kind of a opposite circle, almost straight line here. And then let's connect those in. Kind of make a fluid shape there. All right, and then this, this triangle provides for the tailbone right there. So that's, uh, that's where our sacrum is. Now for the filling in the last two, we have, we're going to come down just like this guideline here. So this is ischium. It's going to come up here just like this. Same thing here, right along the circle and attach. And now we're going to do the pubis, which is going to right where this curve is here. It's going to come down to here and attach and it's going to kind of do a hook shape about halfway. So if we want, we could do another circle in here and we could come along the circle and then down and attach. Give us a nice queen shape there. And same thing here, let's draw another circle about that size, about halfway in between here on the ilium, come down. And draw our connection. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the guidelines and hopefully have what looks to be like a pelvis. Seven hours later. I forgot a couple more shapes here at the bottom where the muscles attach and you can think of them kind of like a square around it here. And so I'm going to add those in. That's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you found this helpful. And let me know if you have any video suggestions you'd like to see art tutorials in the future. I'm planning to do continue the series in anatomy. And hopefully by the completion of this process, my human figure form will improve dramatically. And I can't wait to share those with you. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of those videos. And I can't wait to see you in the future. See you in the next time. Bye.